Hello everybody, it's time to get fancy with me, your host, X Not The Fancy. So, I'm totally done with my surgery, my wisdom teeth are fully out, um, pretty much fully recovered, my teeth just hurt a little bit at some times, just because uh, I got the two sort of little holes left on the side of my mouth, but the doctor said they'll close up eventually, and uh, I just need a couple Advil, you know, to ease the pain a little bit. So, today, Moab Monday, week four. I am going to be showing you some tips and tricks on how I get Moabs, or mother of all bombs, whatever you want to call them. But, uh, so, here we go. Uh, my first tip would definitely be to play with a team. Uh, it is so beneficial to be, like, uh, the captain of your team where you can say, listen, you go cap A, I'll go cap B, we'll sit at B, we'll protect it. Uh, let's have three kids go A, three kids go B, and, you know, you can control... Uh, what's happening with the game, whereas uh, if you had a whole bunch of random kids on your team, uh, they're going to go out and do whatever they want. They're going to triple cap, they're going to sit on A and B, they're only just going to cap B for some reason, I don't know. It's just better, in my uh, opinion, to play with a team. Uh, next, pick a good playlist that you're comfortable with. Uh, you're not going to be wanting to play Team Deathmatch, because I doubt you can get a fourth of the kills in a normal Team Deathmatch game uh, without using... Uh, or without any of your players uh, getting kills, or I doubt you'll win that game as well. Um, also, even in Ground War, I would highly recommend playing uh, Ground War with a whole bunch of friends because you can control what goes on so easily, uh, if you know what you're doing, that is. Um, in Ground War, there's going to be a lot more kids. You're going to get a Moab a lot quicker in my experiences, but there's also a lot more risk because you have a lot more kids coming at you. If in normal domination, when you kill two kids, there's usually not a third or a fourth coming at you. But in Ground War, if you kill three or four kids, there's usually two more right behind them because they usually have a full team of eight or nine. So just keep that in mind. Um, for the, my next tip, pick a good gun that you're comfortable with. Uh, if you're not comfortable using a sniper, hey, don't use it. If the only gun that you're comfortable with using is a Type 95, listen, use it. Don't be preoccupied with... Uh, you know, what other people think. I use a Type 95 in this game uh, just because two of my other mods deleted in theater mode and I was just getting pissed and I just wanted one that I could just record right off the bat. So, um, definitely know your gun's limitations. Don't expect a UMP to be killing kids across the map with, like, half a clip. It's not going to happen. Know that a Barrett 50 cal, yes, is amazing when you're shooting kids across the map and maybe, you know, sitting down and looking across the map on maybe uh, Interchange or even Arcadin in this spot that I was, uh, you know, making my little control zone. But know that in a map like Bootleg, uh, kids are going to be running at you really fast. They're going to be right next to you, and the Barrett 50 Cal may not be the best weapon for an up-close situation. Uh, you'll see in this gameplay that I'm using not only the Type 95, but I'm using the MP7 because I'm running Overkill. Uh, Pro, I have it which allows me to have two attachments on my secondary weapon, so, which is amazing. So, uh, I have the Type 95 for my sort of medium to long range kills, and I have my MP7 for my short to medium range, uh, kills. So you'll see, like, if, uh, someone runs at me real quick, I may whip out the MP7, uh, I may just keep the Type 95 out. You have to be comfortable with the guns you're using. You're not gonna see me use, like, a Desert Eagle when I'm going for, uh, an MOAB. It's just not going to happen. Um, next tip, learn the map that you're playing on. Um, if Even if you're new to the game or whatever, just have a whole bunch of your friends go in a private match, play a game of Dom, you know, have yourselves in a party so that you can talk with one another, and just say, okay, here, Mark, let me kill you and see where you spawn. Like, Josh, let me kill you, let me see where you spawn. Uh, like, learn the spawns on the map, and when you triple cap, that is the most important uh, spawn to learn. Because when I play with a lot of randoms, they tend to cap all three points. And I have no idea where the people are going to spawn. Because they can spawn in the middle, they can spawn behind me, they can spawn straight in front of me. It gets very confusing. So make sure that you know the spawns of the map. Uh, in my experience, it's the best when playing Domination to uh, cap A and B. I feel like their players run to cap B more often than they sneak around the map to come at me at A. Uh, in this gameplay, however, it wasn't that way. They kept coming at A, they kept running straight at me, so it was just like ducks in a row. I was just picking them off with my Type 95. And uh, even in one point in this game, you'll see um, they back spawn at A. If I'm sitting at A on ADOM, you'll see me looking down the alleyway to uh, the door 
to the doorway, and they spawn right there when they have C-Dom. And my players, I was telling them to push to the left side of B, and they were doing that excellently. And then I would kill them across the map in their spawn, and it, it just went fantastic. So make sure that you pick a good gun, a good secondary, and good perks. I would highly, 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 highly recommend using these specialist perks. Um, I find that if when you use a normal gun or you use normal kill streaks, uh, yes, you may get a UAV, an advanced UAV, maybe an EMP. Those are the three that I would recommend when using uh, special, not specialist uh, support when running a Moab, just because it impairs, it either impairs your enemy or benefits your team further, and allows you to know exactly where they're uh, they're spawning and where the enemy is. Uh, but in my experience, specialist is the absolute best. Uh, you know skill set for you to use in order to get an MOA bait. Uh, it gives you um, extra perks, so it's fantastic because I run out of ammo a lot when I don't run Specialist or when I don't run Scavenger. And um, in this case, I'm using Overkill, so I don't have Quick Draw. So right off the bat, I don't have the ability to aim down the site faster than my opponents do. I don't have the ability to throw flashbangs uh, further than my opponents do or quicker, sorry that's what I meant to say, but um, using specialist I immediately get those perks, so I'm not going to run out of ammo because I have scavenger, I'm, I'm going to be able to aim down the site faster because I have quick draw, and I believe I was running blind eye, but I'm not 100% sure of that, just because I run that just because I don't want to get killed by someone's lucky uh, cobra, they always seem to kill me those stupid attack helicopters, I don't know why, but I've started to run blind eye in my specialist perks just so I don't have uh, some kid kill me with his lucky attack helicopter out of a care pack. It just annoys the hell out of me. Uh, next thing, I would really recommend not using uh, a throwing knife or a frag for for your lethal equipment. Um, it's just, I would usually run C4 or either a Bouncing Betty or even a Claymore. Just something to protect you when someone gets too close as your last resort. With C4, you can double tap X and it'll just kill them off. The Claymore will set itself off. I have a big problem with the Bouncing Betty because um, if you don't know this trick already, the Bouncing Betty, when it deploys, it's uh, it's not like the ones in World at War. Yes, the ones at World at War would shoot up, but they wouldn't explode. Uh, as They wouldn't go as high as the Bouncing Bettys. I'm sorry, they would explode. Uh, they wouldn't go as high as the Bouncing Bettys in Modern Warfare 3. So what would happen is... in Modern Warfare 3, the Bouncing Bettys will shoot up to about, I believe, high chest to about neck height, and then they'll explode. But they make this uh, this very weird sound when they go off. Uh, if you've never heard it, uh, if you've never seen it because it's too loud, uh, go in a private match with one of your friends and just have them walk up to a Bouncing Betty, and they'll, you'll hear the sound if you have Turtle Beaches or just turn your TV up high. You'll hear it, and when you hear that sound, if you duck... People can avoid bouncing Bettys because they will explode uh, right over you and not even hit you at all. So uh, watch out for that. With a Claymore, it's a lot better. And with C4, I just find uh, if you throw it at A or if you throw it at B or C, wherever you may spawn, and the uh, enemy has snuck around the map, you just quick double tap X, boom, they're gone. There's a threat. It's completely eliminated. Um, so recognize, my next tip is recognize when there's too many people for you to handle. Um, I run Marksman Pro. Oh, that was the third perk I was running. Marksman Pro. Uh, just because it allows you to see all the names of the enemies uh, when you can't even see them normally. If you just look across the map, you're like, oh, his foot's out. Oh, now I can see his whole name and where he's coming from. So it's a great perk. If you've never tried it, definitely use it. But uh, my next tip is recognize when there's too many people for you to handle coming at you. Um, if you have like four or five enemies coming, Yell over to one of your friends, hey, I need help, I'm close to a Moab, come help me. Uh, pick off as many as you can and run. Uh, if you're getting hit, run and hide. It doesn't matter, you're going for a Moab. Uh, you don't need to play the objective, have your friends do that. You're going for a Moab. That is your primary objective. Don't stray from that just to win. Uh, a Moab is something a lot of people don't get. It's something a lot of people don't achieve. And I think it's a pretty good accomplishment that I already have uh, eight or nine of them. So... Those are my tips for uh, Moab Monday. Uh, if any of you guys and gals happen to hit a Moab, please uh, post a video link. I'd love to see uh, Let me know if you used any of these tips or tricks. If this was helpful, peace. Excellent and fancy. Bye-bye.